now that the laser heads are mounted, they're on, we've got our job, we're ready to do our auto sweep. Now we simply rotate the heads from the drive shaft and we'll rotate them around a full rotation. And now we'll press get data. The analyzer will retrieve the data and now we can see our misalignment in both the vertical and the horizontal position. I could then move into the live mode. It's asking me to put the laser heads in the proper orientation. And now we're ready to start the live move. The red ring is lit up. That means that we are more than two times out of tolerance. At that point, if this were the simulated motor, I would loosen the hold down bolts and I would use the jack bolts to actually nudge the machine sideways. And as uh, previously demonstrated, I can use the adjustment wheel on the laser to simulate the movement. All right, now I want to point out here, normally on the demo trainer, I would use the shorter posts. Those are perfect for this size machine. But frequently what happens in the field is that there are obstructions so that it's not possible to rotate the laser heads through an entire shaft rotation. That's absolutely no problem with the CSI 8240 laser alignment system because we have our patented sweep capability which allows you to start at any position, rotate the shaft as far as you can, and retrieve the data, and that's enough to have the alignment solution. So by mounting the longer posts here, I've actually created a problem that highlights a feature of our system. So you've already seen how to use the sweep mode. So we'd simply initialize the heads, starting from whatever position. You want to turn from the drive shaft, and we would rotate from the drive shaft as far as we can go, retrieve the data, and at that point we'd be able to have a precision alignment on this machine.